Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. It's um, April the 13th of 2013. And recently I completed a computer trade um, with my good friend William up in Ohio. He, um, I traded him an old um, CompuDyne desktop and a Model M keyboard and I got this little package. I can tell from here it's a laptop, but what kind of laptop? Well, there's only one way to find out. I said it's got a lot of bubble wrap in here, so be prepared and it could always come in handy for future packages. I know I'm not doing this right, but do what you can. Uh, maybe I cut it here. Uh, here we go. Well, we got a power cord with the adapter and everything. And here is the computer itself. And what you're about to see, folks, is a very rare laptop. Something you just don't see much of these days, or even back then, I imagine. They were kind of expensive. And this particular company um, manufactured these only for a short amount of time. Well, he did use a lot of bubble wrap. Okay. And here it is. The, it's a Packard Bell Statesman laptop. Something you just don't see much of. Because <laughs> um, we all know Packard Bell for making desktop computers in the 90s, but for a short time they delved into the um, laptop business and it didn't really last a, a, a good amount of time. Um, you can see it uses the old Packard Bell logo before the face of technology. Um, and in fact, there are no Packard Bell laptops that use the face of technology as I know of. And this particular one was in 19, is from 1994. And I believe it's one of the last ones Packard Bell ever made. One of the last Packard Bell laptops, that is. And it's a 486. I believe it's a Cyrix chip. And yeah, the battery isn't working anymore, but that's to be expected. Yeah, this is going to be a perfect little addition to my Packard Bell collection. Huh, doesn't mention it was made in Sacramento or not. But yeah, it's um, very excited about this. And it's got a floppy drive right here a um, PS2 mouse and keyboard port and on the back of it uh, we got whatever this thing is Parallel Serial VGA and again I don't know what that is but um, I believe it uses a passive matrix display and it's and I don't think it has speakers, meaning um, the lack of speakers and no CD-ROM pretty much means this is more of a collector, a collectible and not a gaming laptop, a 90s gaming laptop that is. But and another interesting thing about it, it uses a J-mouse. I really can't explain what the J-mouse does. I've never used it before, but from my understanding, you can control the mouse cursor just by using the um, J key. I guess I'll read up on that 
but yeah, it's very, very nice little laptop for the pack for my Packard Bell collection. And this is a color display, by the way. But um, I actually need to go run some errands in Greensboro, and so I'll be back later with a more in-depth look at this laptop. But for now, this is Billy Core signing off.